Hello, my name is Darwin Fortuna and I am one of the principals of Flow Design Architects. Here I am at the studio and I want to introduce our firm to you. Uh, Flow Design Architects um, is made out of, uh, you know, myself, uh, Principal Darwin Fortuna and Principal Marco Severino um, and a team of people that, you know, we're thankful to have. Uh, we focus on work, live and well-being space, um, meaning Places where you work, places where you live, and you know healthcare-related projects. We're based out of Salem, Massachusetts, uh, just about thirty minutes away from Boston, and we are architects. Our address is Fifty Grove Street in Salem, Mass, and our suite is uh, two two six. Um, we want to talk about us, right, in general. So flow, uh, a flow we believe in making people's lives better, easier, and simpler whichever way we can as architects. Uh, our designs can do that. Um, and hopefully, uh, if we're lucky, we can do a little bit more than that. Um, we were founded in 2017 by myself, Darwin Fortuna, and partner Marcos Severino. Um, we became, you know, me and Marcos became a little frustrated with the lack of diversity and opportunities that we found in the field of architecture for people uh, of a variety of, of backgrounds. Uh, we felt like our opinions weren't heard or at least we, you know, felt or noticed that um, our ideas weren't really making any impact. Um, we believe that diversity and differentiation are high level assets um, to be leveraged and embraced. So we sort of welcome diversity. Diversity is, is kind of our bread and butter. Um, flow design uh, emerged from the desires of creating a better world through design fueled by diversity and creativity. Uh, you know, we, we are a team as diverse as it can be, right? We have uh, people from, you know, Brazil, the Dominican Republic, Colombia, El Salvador, Mexico, India, China, Russia, Japan. I mean, you name it. That's what we welcome. We love it. We love the diversity. In fact, here at the office, we play music from every country, even when we don't understand what, what they're playing. We just like diversity. We just believe in that as, as an asset, right? And what we've learned, I personally uh, was part of a NCAR event, uh, the Licensing, uh, uh, Licensing Advisor Summit in Minneapolis, and they presented this to me and it was mind blowing. So it says that diverse teams poorly managed don't really perform perform very well. They're not so great. Diverse team, well-managed, outperform, homogeneous teams. So if you get a team of people all the same race, same color, same culture together, even well-managed, they will not outperform a diverse team, well-managed. Flow is a diverse team, well-managed, or at least we'd like to think that way. Um, Things that jump out at us, whenever we think about flow, we think about value, process driven, nimble, change drivers, passionate, creative, bold, diverse, right? Innovators, willing, becomers, hard workers, reliable, um, efficient, um, educators. We're all educators. I myself teach at the Boston Architectural College, um, very productive, and responsible people. Those are kind of some of the core words that you know jump out at us. And all of us together put these words together. It wasn't just me or my partner or anybody else. We all of us together just decided what things jump out at us whenever we think about flow. You know, trust, right? Trust. Oh my goodness, that's so important. Um, flow. We're not rigid in here, right? We welcome ideas, we evaluate them, and make sure that the best ones make the cut, right? Flow. That's where we flow. Um, and what's our niche? Like I said, we do workspaces, live and well-being spaces. Um, these are the things that we love the most. I have a background in healthcare. My partner has a background in healthcare. Most of the team have a, a background in uh, residential spaces. I have a background in sort of you know business uh, office spaces and things like that. Um, and so does my partner. So that's our niche. That's what we love to do. And you know, typically the team. Um, is led by a partner, either myself or Marcos, and then a lead designer, a senior designer like Julio Gutierrez, who will be involved in the project and sort of um, 
and guide the general, the rest of the team throughout the project. We are as fun as we can possibly be. These photos are from one of our summer outings and we're, we're super flexible, super open. We like to empower talent, find talent and empower talent. Um, we, don't, we don't have feelings for people here. Um, you know, the idea is that everybody can grow. It's almost a free for all, but managed, okay? We manage it very well. Um, just to give you a little sense of where we're at from Boston, we're about 36 minutes. Uh, actually, it's about 30 minutes from Boston, but I put the Boston Architectural College 320 University as a reference because most of us here at Flow are BAC graduates or some of them are actually students that are still in the BAC. So that's kind of our home, right? That's, that's where we're from, right there, Boston Architectural College. So shout out to the Boston Architectural College. We love it there. Uh, we teach there. I teach there. You know, many of, of, of the people here um, are students there. Um, and we have experiences at three different levels or, or all levels, right? Small, medium, and large. So we've kind of, I'm going to talk to you about three different levels of projects, three different projects um, without getting you bored, right? I don't want to spend all night talking, all day talking. So I just want to show you a few projects uh, that we're very proud of. Um, the first one um, is the Metroform Garage. That was the first project we ever did in 2017 when we opened the, uh, the firm as a design studio, right? We didn't get licensed until 2018. So we were just a interior design studio. We could sketch garages, single family garages, things like that. Most of us were actually working at other places. We were doing this on the side for fun. We didn't even know where this was going to go, but uh, <laughs> now we know, right? So and you know, it's between 1,000 and 9, you know, 10,000 square feet. That's what I believe is small um, metro form garage. So this one, you know, is, is as much as, as it is the clients as it is your, ours. The clients catch all this stuff, you know, the owner of metro form construction costs us a uh, um, sketchy stuff. He was thinking about what he wanted. He had a foundation ready for, over, you know, I don't, I think five, seven years. Um, and never moved forward with the project. He was just waiting for the perfect time, for the moment to do this project. He didn't know what he wanted. He would change his mind. There is a house right next to this project, his house. Um, in this garage, you know, he wanted it to complement the, the house, but his days would change, ideas would change. And, you know, he finally landed off flow um, and, and, and like the things that we were talking about, like the concepts that we were talking about, he introduced us to another architect that he liked, uh, 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 Condi, uh, Tom Condi, I think his name. So, um, and he was like, I want a Condi building, you know, like that, you know, but I want to hire you guys to do it. And I think you guys can do it. And we're like, okay, challenge accepted. We're going to take care of it. So we begin to extrapolate concepts from all of the things that cost us like, the things that, you know, um, other people like, and then we put them in here. Um, but then the building didn't get finished, or at least the design didn't get really advanced in the construction until the the last um, movie for Toys R uh, Toy Story came up. So we thought, you know, some people were like, "Oh my goodness, this looks like a spaceship," and we're like, "Here you go, to infinity and beyond." So we did this kind of joking thing uh, at that time. We're fun, so we like to have fun. Um, so the project, the, the building does look like it's about to take off or just land it. Um, it is a simple garage. It's located in Box for, uh, Box for Mass. So if you're driving, I think it's Ipswich Road, you're going to see that. And a lot of people post on our Instagram saying, I almost get into an accident looking at that thing. I'm like, drive careful, buddy. Die, drive careful. Because they've never seen anything like it. And we love it because that's what flow is all about. So these, are, these are photos of the progress of the construction. We haven't taken photos of the end just yet, um, but this is kind of how it's looking. You know, we took some language about, you know, exposing the structure and things like that. Like the beams actually, you know, extend a little bit. Um, these overhangs, right? The slope of the roof slightly, almost like being pulled up. Um, and also the views, right? This is, it has a studio above and a car, and a two car garage below. Um, is a studio hangout sort of space, storage space above. Um, the owner is all into music. So chances are all of this is going to turn into a party place, right? It's going to be amazing. So um, at the same time, also storing the cars during these crazy winters we get here in Massachusetts. 
a million projects. So we picked this house uh, as, as Indian Ridge Road, 33 Indian Ridge Road. It's located in Natick. It's just 3,000 square foot, although we said it's from 1,000 to 10,000. But for a house, um, we wanted to use this as a medium. You know, um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good size, medium sized house. So on the residential side, this is a medium project to us. Um, house looked like this back in 2019. Uh, owner uh, and developers, Peter Solaris and Donny Sedemois, half wall and said, let's do something here. We went all the way there. This was a picture taken, uh, looking at the project from the outside. I was there and I thought, this is gonna be a masterpiece. This is gonna be beautiful because nature is all around. The Charles River is right behind it. This is gonna be amazing. So we sat down, Peter, uh, the flow team, including uh, you know Juan and Julio Gutierrez, and we started sketching Donnie also on the budget. You know what's you know it's a flip, right? So they wanted to buy this, turn it into a a piece of you know a gold, right, a diamond, and sell it and make a profit, right? So we had to be careful, and we had to wear our architect's hat, developer hat, sort of you know builders hat, and understand all of this. This was such an amazing design process, right? Desi Solaris was the interior designer on the project. Um, and they staged the project too when we finished it. Boom, that's what it turned out to be. Amazing project. Fun fact, before we started Flow Design, I was doing a little side job for um, uh, uh, Greg Carell, the brother of Steve Carell. Yes, Steve Carell from the office. And you know, we, we, I worked with him on the Rowley Police and Fire and did some renderings for the Dartmouth Police Station, just a little side work, right? Things like that. So it turns out, that with the money I made doing that is when I when I when we decided to incorporate flow design, that was the money that we used to incorporate flow design. Turns out that when I go to this site, I picked up some sets of drawings in there. Guess what? This house was renovated by Greg Carell, the brother of Steve Carell, who was the one that hired us to do some renderings for some of his projects and we use those funds to incorporate flow design and establish ourselves as a company. We are renovating this project. Isn't that amazing? I mean, you don't get that all the time. We're renovating the project of the person that kind of basically made us real. Um, he doesn't really know about it. I think for Christmas, we're probably gonna send him a picture of this and say, hey, you remember this project? Um, but you know, it turned out to be amazing. What did we do to this project? Well. Renovated all of it, as you can see, right? Big shocking before and after. There were a lot of opportunities in this project. It had a lot of natural light and things like that. But we got to keep the budget friendly. So we reduced the amount of windows in some areas, but increased them in another one. Turned an area that was in this side, at the, at the right side of the building, that was a deck into living space for a kitchen in the first floor, right? And we enlarged the garage. The garage was just a single bay. We made it a double, two-car garage. And then gave it a little pop of color in some areas. This house wanted to say, I am modern, I am new, and I'm cool, right? So that little, you know, cedar on the side, popping in the middle, you know, wish the door was actually black or gray is white. Um, <laughs> It, that that's that's beyond us, right? We did the best we could. I think he ended up changing. So if you drive by it, you're gonna see it. I think it's gray or black right now. So project turned out to be amazing. Became the home of the mid-century home of the week, um, mid-century modern home of the week by the Boston Glove. It went viral, right? We've got a ton of projects just because of this one. It sold uh, within I think three days of, <laughs> of going on the market. Um, you know, we worked a lot on that kitchen, the island, all the details on the project. It's a flip. You wouldn't believe this is a flip. If you don't know what a flip is, is when a developer gets a distressed property, right? Renovates it for a budget, knowing that with the properties around, there's a, a chance that that property can also sell for much more than what it was purchased, right? So this one is a flip with flow. Right? When you partner Peter Solaris, right, TV star from the show Flip in Boston, Donnie Sedemois, I mean, one of the top builders, developers in the game right now, right? There's nobody like him. Um, and flow design architects, 
that's just look at it right it's just amazing right stucco in the fireplace you know i love the venetian style concrete shiny metallic look um you know it's got a bunch of different uh you know water waterfall effect on the on the island like you know edge um the niche the niche is in there uh for the lighting in the kitchen um, i mean it's just a masterpiece I, we love this project i recently saw it i i saw it not long ago i didn't have a chance to see it until recently and i wanted to cry it just turned out a masterpiece very nicely done um then another project that kind of you know just came on the pipeline is this 30,000, 30,000, I think, or plus square feet project. 5056 Oliver Street in Fitchburg. Actually, it's 20,000, uh, 20,450 square feet. That's what it was. It ended up going beyond 30,000 square feet as we proceeded. The project was this 12 units. We looked at it. We were going to renovate the whole project. The owner is an amazing client, amazing developer, amazing person. She is... Whew, Amazing. I mean, she's just wonderful uh, to work with. And we saw the property, the excess conditions of the property, and then noticed, not worth it. Why don't you demo the whole building and start over again, right? He actually thought, yes, that's a great idea. So instead of 12 units, why don't we try to do more? Well, boom. We ended up putting in about 24 units in there. Pittsburgh. I mean, the community that has embraced this project so much, the client wants it to be lead certified or, you know, platinum or silver or gold. She wants it to be energy efficient. But more importantly, she wants this project to be a top-notch project that caters towards underrepresented teams, diverse people, underrepresented communities, right? That's what we're all about. Floyd is all about that. I mean, we jumped at the opportunity of working on this project. You know, it's right in front of the, of the police station in Fishburg. It's got many moving parts to it. Beautiful, modern, edgy, clean. Um, you know, it caters towards, you know, veterans, uh, you know, people with disabilities, right? Um, you know, and, and, and Section 8 members, also students from the Fishburg State, right? State University. So those are that's the niche of that project that's what the project is catering towards and we're very happy with it we're very excited about it um we we've already gotten a lot of uh, notoriety for it and, and people are just welcoming this project we get calls and texts about it um it's going through the zoning board of appeals process right now um and we're just very blessed to be working on this project these are some of the views we activated a corner that was right now i mean look at that you know right on the represented between oliver and adam street now the corner is enhanced. This is still in the preliminary design stages, right? We're still gonna keep developing it. It's gonna keep going more and more. Um, but these are, you know, in a little nutshell, the things that we're working on right now, what we're all about and the projects that we're working on. Um, um, and, you know, this is the team, this is Flow Design. And thank you so much. I hope you guys like that presentation, short and simple, um, but it does tell you a little bit about what we are and what we do. Did I actually record?